Hello, this is Kishore Kalidindi. I'm the Director of Engineering at the Tolly Group. Today, I'm going to talk about our recent study comparing the performance, power consumption, and the total cost of ownership of access layer switches from HP and Cisco. We evaluated three chassis-based modular switches from HP. The 6-slot E5406, the 12-slot E5412, and the 12-slot E8212. We compared these HP switches to comparable switches from Cisco. First, a 6-slot Catalyst 4506 chassis base switch and a stack of four Catalyst 3750X switches. An access layer switch needs to provide a high port count combined with resiliency to chassis level and component level failures. Traditionally, chassis based switches provided all these features but at a high cost. Stackable switches have become a less costlier alternative to chassis based switches. However, the HP E5400 and E8200 ZL series chassis based switches provide a higher performance and comparable resiliency over the chassis based Cisco Catalyst 4506 switch and a stack of Catalyst 3750X switches. Let us examine our find. First off, we compared the throughput delivered by the HP and Cisco switches configured with up to 144 gigabit ports and two 10 gig ports. The test followed the RFC 2889 methodology. As shown in this graph, the HP E5412 and E8212 switches delivered 100% throughput, while the Cisco Catalyst 3750X stack delivered just around 33% throughput. The Catalyst 4506 fared even worse, delivering just around 13% throughput. Next. We compared the latency introduced by the HP and Cisco switches with 144 gigabit ports and two 10 gigabit ports. The test followed the RFC 2889 methodology with all the ports in a full mesh, that is, each port transmits to and receives traffic from every other port in the switch. Once again, as shown in the graph, the HP switches delivered dramatically less latency than the Cisco Catalyst switches in both layer 2 and layer 3 latency tests. Next, we measured the power consumption of the switches under test. As shown in the chart, the HP switches were very efficient with the power consumed per unit of throughput delivered. The Cisco Catalyst 3750X switch stack consumed four times as much power per gigabit of throughput while the Catalyst 4506 switch consumed almost 10 times as many watts per gigabit of throughput. The additional power consumed by the Cisco switches translates directly into significant additional electric and cooling cost over its deployment cycle. Next, we calculated the total cost of ownership of the Cisco and HP switches in terms of the cost of acquisition, the licensing and support costs and the operational costs in terms of cost of powering and cooling the switches. Our evaluation showed that the HP switches delivered simplified licensing by providing advanced software features and standard next business day support included in the bundle price. In contrast, the Cisco switches have complicated, expensive, multi-layered licensing and support contracts leading to a high total cost of ownership compared to the HP switches. In conclusion, our observations show that the HP E5400 and E8200 series of chassis based switches offered a high performance alternative to the traditional stackable switches and expensive chassis based switches from Cisco. Read more details on our, on our evaluation in the Tolly report number 210 152 available for a free download on our website tolly.com thank you very much